What's up, honey love? What's up, girl? What's up, little honey love? I see you. What are you doing, real Sonia? What's up, Sonia? Fat, fat mama Sonia. What's up, fat, fat mama Sonia? What's up, fat, fat mama Sonia? What's up, Mayday? Lord Mayday. What's up, boy? What's up, Lord Mayday? What's up, my boy, Doc? What's say, Doc? Hmm? What'd you say, Doc? What'd you say, Doc? It's my big boy, Doc. What'd you say? All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to another week, another episode of Game Dog Talk. And, of course, we got the legendary panel in the building. We got the legendary schoolboy, Mr. Richard Garcia, in here. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, thanks. Welcome, everybody, in the chat room. Welcome to the panel. Glad to be back with 7-8, Mr. Rosterman, and my brother, Bob. And Ram will be here in a minute. Yes, sir. Peace, brother. Peace. And we have the legendary Only in America Kennels, Brother Bakri in the building. How you doing today, sir? I just say peace and love to the ultimate chat. I mean, chat room brothers uh, that's in there. I don't know if we got any sisters in there yet. And uh, to my brothers on the panel, man, love. I love being able to come here and spend time with Brother Roster Man, Brother Kennels. Brother Schoolboy and Brother Ram. Yes, sir. And, and they so keep it 100. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the legendary roster man Boone in the building. How you doing today, sir? Hey, if you're out there and you feel the vibes like I feel the vibes, I want everybody to chat in or pencil in or say something loud like, keep it 100. Keep it 100. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it 100. Kevin to the maximum. Keep it 100. Ram run dance master. <laughs> Only in a man. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Who got a teacher? Wide and wildly. 100. The man jamming. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Salute to the chat, man. Let me see what we got up in here. Quick roll call. Outlaw, uh, Outlaw Texas Kennel. Salute to you, man. Vernon Starr. Um, All right, Cayman, brother. Hugo, uh, Larry B. Austin Jr., Old Smoke, Vinny in the building, Michael Forgood, uh, City Boy Kennel. Salute, homie. Uh, Miami Snoopy 305, Grind Mode Kennels, uh, Self Made Kennels, Asiatic right, Soldier. Right. Salute to you. We got um, Dreadlock is in the building. Mike yes, Lee. Mike Lee. Mike. Tony Gardner. Um, let's see here. Man in the building. Uh, Arrowhead Kennels. Mr. Kilroy. Uh, All right. Eddie, Eddie Roser. All right. William um, Kiston. My man, Bill. Keep it 100. Salute to William Kiston in the super chat. Much love and much appreciation, man. Coming through, showing up early. Salute, William. We're on the 100 vibrations, y'all. Man, we got a lot of y'all up in here. Y'all in here heavy today, early. Salute, can't read everybody, man, but appreciate all y'all being in here. We see you in here, um, Luciano, Welsh Kennels Combine. Salute Welsh. to everybody in here. Yes, sir. Cosmetic Society. Hey, Salute to Cosmetic Society in the super chat. Appreciate right. you, man. Yes, sir. Thank you, Cosmic. Yes, yeah. sir. Right. Yeah. I'd like to say we got some we got some loyal followers, man. Thank you guys for showing up. Yes, yeah, every day, on time. Good yes. people. I know I know some of them. They're good people, man. Everybody I I support. They good people. We the one hundred show, school boy. That's what it is. That's it. One hundred. One hundred. Keep it one hundred. What's up, bro? Salute to Tay in the building. Tay Tay. Queen to the God damn it, all hell queen. Hey, 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 h
He's sending out the uh, links and stuff. Make sure y'all smash the like button if you're in the building, ladies and gentlemen. We got a good show. Um, we'll keep it short. Try to keep it within an hour. Unless y'all got a lot of questions in the chat, we're going to try to keep this uh, within an hour. You know what I mean? And, and try to save some good smoke for Patreon. Um, Chisholm, I hope I said your name right, fam. Chisholm98. Wait, wait a minute. Before you go, okay, before you go, okay, go ahead and say that. Then I just want to say something. Yes, sir. Uh, Chisholm98 in the super chat. Much love. Much appreciate you, man. He says, Dynamite. Dino Mike. Yes, All indeed. Right, no, Mike. Go ahead, hey, brother. Chisholm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me just let me just because I had this question a few times uh, on Facebook. I seen it um, around. OK, listen, we love coming up here on Sundays. I mean, I, I can definitely speak for myself. I, don't, I have not came here and made no money doing this shit, nor did I come here looking for any. Neither have roster man, neither has Ram, neither have schoolboy. Uh, hell, most of the time I'm giving free love in my on Facebook and Instagram 24-7. And those who know me personally, I don't mind I'm giving them good information that I know, right? So when someone says, why the fuck should I go pay to do it? And, you know, it's, it's free up here. Let, well, let me ask you this. Not, not again... <laughs> Certain things we just felt like, you know, was more privately, so that's why we had because you been doing shit up here and doing certain little dumb shit with Kev on here. Secondly, why the fuck wouldn't you want to support? If we do talking dog shit, who the fuck care about giving ten dollars a fucking month to come up here and hear four people talk about some professional experiences and you getting that shit at least four times a month? I mean, we pay ten dollars for some bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? So to even feel like only way you can you would only feel like doing it if you can get it for free and giving something is like that's some like that really is that that's to me is some bullshit. But right. yet we still up here and give you thousands of dollars worth of game for nothing. Nothing. Seriously. So I'm not speaking for, for, for most of the people, but you always got them cheap ass, bitch ass motherfuckers gotta say some bitch shit. Like, oh, well, if I got to pay for it, fuck it. Well, don't pay, bitch, and just keep it to yourself. You ain't right. got to figure it. If you can get an army of motherfuckers to be like, fuck that. Yeah, I ain't paying for it. Well, don't pay for it, bitch, and don't don't even come up here and get the free game then. Right, I mean, right. it's, it's just some, you know, it's, I, it, and, 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 it, and it be it be the brother saying it is why I be hearing it. Don't be, the, don't be nobody else. It be some bitch-ass brothers. And, you know, it, it's just fucked up. And I just sit there quietly and look at him. I ain't paying for it. What the fuck I'm gonna pay for that shit for? I, I already know it. All right, what they gonna say? Well, we, but you still ear hustling on Sunday though. Right, it's right. You motherfucking thing. Why are you up here ear hustling? Why are you here? You know every fucking thing. Go on and start your own goddamn thing then. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody here competing with nobody. We got love with everybody. We ain't got no enemies. We don't. We don't come up here and speak badly about nobody. But wait a minute, Bob. Wait a minute, Bob. Wait a minute, Bob. I want to ask you something. I got a question, Bob. Yeah. I got a question. Bob, you hear me? Yes, sir. They ain't keeping their 100, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. It's, 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 hey, it just, it just, I'm, I just had to say that because I see not everybody, but you get a few people looking to see if they can get somebody to be like, just because a motherfucker might put something in their goddamn pocket, it ain't, worth, it ain't really no money, by the way. If somebody just put enough in there to get a bag of Cheetos, a motherfucker got a problem with it. Seriously. I mean, they're po po pocket watching another motherfucker. Like they mad. Thomas said, I'm not, I ain't paying. Well, don't pay, brother. But just keep it to yourself and don't get on there. But for those that want to get up there and come deal with us in a more private setting, we appreciate all the support and love, and we love seeing you. That's all I'm saying. For those that don't want, brother, you ain't you ain't got to try to get a network of motherfuckers to try to downplay the play 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 the play the hustle, bro. That's all I'm saying. All right, well, sorry. It, 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 this this is what it is. See, is so many of them can talk the wrong way. See, the way I grew up is everybody in the neighborhood made sure everybody ate. So it didn't matter whether you stayed in my neighborhood. Or way across town neighborhood, 
on the other side or the south side, the north side, east side, we all made sure everybody ate on every side. And then even out of state. You know what I mean? So that's what brotherhood is about, man. Is making sure we all eat. You know what I mean? No matter what, if it's two dollars, if it's three dollars, whatever it is, it, it, it's all appreciated. But ain't nobody look here looking for nothing. No, you know? man. I ain't we wasting no more we words, we and I ain't letting y'all waste no more words on niggas who steal Wi-Fi from the library. Let's yeah, start the show. Man. Fuck them broke ass niggas, man. You know that's that's just the same people who complain about the prices of dogs and shit, man. You know, don't don't worry yeah. about it. Just it, it, it's gonna always be haters, bro. Look, it, it's salute to everybody in the super chat, Marie, y'all. <clears throat> but I'm gonna tell you something, man. You can have, you can I, you can barbecue in your backyard. Had a whole neighborhood smelling good, right? If you giving out free plates, everybody would be over there smiling in your face, grilling, grinning, and hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, you my boy. I fuck with you, man. This shit good. Man, it's the best cheeseburger I've ever in my life. I must declare, the moment your wife get the bright idea to say, hey, you know what? We spend a lot of money on these food. We should start selling plates for ten dollars. You know what's gonna happen? Five people gonna be there out of that hundred that was there. Right. So fuck them motherfuckers, man. Smooth Monty in the super chat coming through showing love, love with the 50 Smooth piece. Monty. Always. Smooth. That's the man. Smooth Thank Monty. You, brother. Salute to the excellent panel. Miss y'all. Much love, brother. Smooth Monty. Salute to you, homie. Yeah. Appreciate you. Uh, Dog Man Scratch in the super chat. Appreciate the support. Unfortunately, bro, we're not going to answer this question, brother. But he says, he says first off, RIP Bumpy. He's talking about the joke Bach made. Um, okay. but, yeah, okay. uh, but nobody here, uh, uh, we, we, nobody here, uh, is engaged with that or will support that, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna do nothing like that, brother. You know what I mean? You gotta be a little bit wiser, brother. Let me see here. Yeah, that's like that's a that's a weird that's like asking somebody, hey, if the, if the age consent was dropped to 10 years old, would you mess with her? Come on, bro. Uh, uh, Motherfucker exactly right. asked me that I'm going in his mouth like a dentist for even right, asking right. me. Right. I know he ain't mean no harm, but yeah, you gotta be careful with the yeah. question. But the no, he ain't talking about the ten year old girl for yeah, 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 yeah. get the worldwide for but yeah, that's more Patreon <clears throat> if anything, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yes, Zachariah twenty three in the super chat showing love. Salute to you, man. He says box speaking facts. I know I could DM anyone. Of y'all, any one of y'all, and get an answer for free. All day, all day for free. All day for free. Said, but the super chat question to support the show and show love. Thank you, brother. And that's Must all it's about, man. Thank that's you. all it's about. Thank you, Zachariah. Thank you, brother. Right. Uh, that's, they that's, like that's we charge you niggas twenty dollars a question. We'd be on if that was the case. Right. Many questions we didn't answer. <laughs> right, right. Let me see here. Um, Soul Power, aka Gamed Up Kennels, in the building. What's up, brother? With the super chat, he said, just showing support and love to the best dog show on the web. Love you, brothers. Man, much love, homie. Love, uh, brother. Soul, Thank you, Soul Power. Yeah, big up, Maximum. Soul Power. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the homie right. right there. Yes, sir. All right, let's go and get to the smoke. Um, question was historically, has the panel ever seen? celebrities at matches or dogs owned by celebrities no names of course uh but have you do you, anybody got any stories like that they're willing to share uh no other than uh the one everybody else know jack johnson with his kobe dog that's one of them not cool <laughs> questions right there bro i'm gonna have to, okay. I'm gonna have to follow him on that one yes sir, not yes, sir. Gonna say the names of it just for anybody to believe so they can just feel like is there another you know, football, big football right, player. Right, like, right. Got crammed up. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know any. I don't know any. Yes, I'll sir. answer like this. I'll answer like this. Uh, back in the day, there was a man who was a, he wasn't a celebrity, but he was a manager to the celebrities. Who was a dog man. And way back in the day, uh, there was, there was, uh, I think it was Pit Pal magazine or, or uh or uh uh what's the other one don mayfield used to put out uh 
not your friend and um, mine. Uh, n- no, uh, that was Barney. Uh, Fife. Anyways, he he put a he put a list back in the eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds, and he was just showing that that it was common for just regular people, even celebrities, to to appreciate the American Pit Bull Terrier Pit Dog Report. That was it. Yeah, yeah. So he put a list. He had Nellie Bly, who was a famous actress. He had John L. Sullivan, Bet a Million Gates. He had judges, clergymen. It was about 30, 40 people that were at a show, you know, a convention. And the point was that, that the American Pit Bull Terrier in its natural habitat used to be acceptable to the American public. That yeah. was the point he was making. That, that's different now. But it was a lot of famous people even had, uh, you know, James Corbett was there. He was heavyweight champion. John L. Sullivan was heavyweight champion. And uh, uh, Nellie Bly, she she interviewed Sullivan before he fought Jake Kilrain, gave the rundown on it. But she also was one of the first people to expose the horrors of uh, mental institutions. Right. She, 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 she put herself in a mental institution like undercover and talked all the that happens there, all the abuse. It was hell for her to get out, but she finally got out, then wrote an article on it and exposed the mental mental institutions, uh, you know, all the abuse they do. Because a lot of people there were just handicapped people, you know, like Down syndrome or, or you know, what right. later became known as autism. And then, you know, got, got that place broke down or, you know, uh, uh, eradicated, you know, at least they shut that one down. But it's just, it's always been common. It's not common anymore. But uh, people used to like the breed, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And back in the day, they, it didn't have the stigma that it has now. So it was nothing, right. I'm sure, for a celebrity or somebody of means, uh, a mayor, a police chief, a sheriff right. to be at, there you, go. Event, you know? Yeah. Um, Peter, the one yeah. fuck. Peter's the one that made the pit bull shit like. For certain people, but even for still most people in the world, love the pit bull. They still probably the most loved breed in the whole goddamn world, regardless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. You're right. You're right, Bob. Yeah. Salute to Dog Man Scratch. Came back in the super chat. Appreciate you, man. He said, "Not trying to get nobody in trouble." My bad. Hey, we know that, bro. We just want to let you know. Uh, right. Just so in the future you can uh, uh, work the questions a little better. And we won't mind that question on Patreon, but out here. Um, outside like this, it's just you know, it, it's just it'd be too much ways they can, can misconstrue it, you know. What I mean? Right, right. Mr. Kilroy in the super chat with the 20 pieces, appreciate the yeah. support. He yeah. said the Patreon, the Patreon ain't for everybody anyway. Weed them out, that's, yes, sir. That's true, yes, sir, bro. Mr. Kilroy. Oh, yes, hey, his, yeah. his name changed to Kilroy. Maximum. <laughs> that way, that way, we know Kilroy was here. That's right, in the building. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, you said everything. You break it up a little bit, brother Boom. Yeah, Boom broke Back up. Back to brother. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you yeah. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just Kilroy said it all. It ain't for everybody, man. And that's for real, man. So the ones that can't understand the vibration, man, make sure you go get whatever it is you know. That's right. Hey, dog, man. Yeah, you cool, bro. You know you ain't mean no harm. Like a better way to ask that question though would have been like hypothetically if this was the eighteen hundreds. What would y'all be doing? And my right, right. might have said I'd bring in my finest bull and terrier in the toppest right. of top condition and bet the till. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, another question we got here is what's a good way to teach a pup how to bite with his back teeth? That's a good that's a good question. I think we talked about that in one of our earlier shows. Um I'll go to you on that one, Mr. Garcia. Uh give him a bone. First, first off, you know, because they'll, they'll chew it and they'll use, inevitably they'll learn to use their back teeth. If you're doing spring pole or tug of war or something like that, you know, uh, a flat surface or a, or a thin surface like a 
piece of rubber and or a or a hide, you know. And what I would do is I would I would, or even a rope, you know. People use rope, and I would I would actually place the place it in their mouth and shove it to the back of their back of their mouth. Make sure they hold on. A lot of times you see guys are they're working something and it's just the front of their mouth. If you do that, that's what they're going to end up doing. They're going to end up biting that hide with the front teeth only. And you, they can't get maximum uh, benefit from that. So I would I would take whatever I'm using, just make sure, just put it in the back of their mouth, you know. And if they grab it with their front teeth, I would just hold it and push it push it back 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 till they till they bite them down with their with their uh, back teeth. But but to start off, I give them a bone because they'll they'll chew with the back of their back of their teeth with that bone. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Let me go to Brother Bach on that question. Well, first of all, you know, anytime I say that, I'm going to get like a broken record. Anytime I got to go beyond behind anybody, whether it's Brother Ram, Brother Roster Man, or Schoolboy, since all of them going to give expert information, I will only be sounding a lot like the brother. Only difference I will add to that. Me personally, I liked some, back in the day. I had liked some of my shit who bit in the front, so I wouldn't make them go to the bite, to the back. Like what Brother Garcia told you is correct, and I used to do that. But when I have a, a head dog who bit the face, I liked him biting on the front or her biting in the front teeth. So I didn't make. I stopped doing that to certain puppies to make them go to the back where they would have to get so much of the head in their mouth and not tear the fuck the shit off the fucking face. You understand back then? So, nope. I, I let those who fought with the front fight with the front. But most of my blood always would go to the back. But like I said, it just depends on, if, if, if I had chest stifle killing dogs back then, then I wanted them to put the whole motherfucker as much as they could in their mouth because I had pressure biters. But when I had rippers and tears that fought the face and head, I let them bitches work the front teeth all fucking day. That's it. That's a good point, Bob. Good yep. point. That, that was going to be my point, man. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Roster, man? I mean, they have to have a front top catches. I mean, they don't have to, but that's what those catchers are for, catching. And then when they go to sinking in, that's when they start using the back. You know what I mean? And uh, it's like a combination type, you know? They, they catch them with the front, and then they suck them in, then they can clamp down on them, and then they, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. But uh, them catchers, they important. They important. And um, so I've, I've seen, some, you know, back in the day, some that went, you know, didn't have all these catches, but they was able to use them and be effective with them. But uh, that's why they call them. Uh, so that you know, whatever it is, they're trying to get a hold there. They can loose sink to the, the top hanging and the bottom hanging, and then once they catch, then they can sink in uh, with the bite. You know what I mean? You know, you'll see them do that. You know, like he was saying about a, a head dog. You know what I mean? He need them catches to kind of, you know, he could, uh, offset, you know, off, you know, right. he put himself as well as, you know, fight too, you know, all at the same time. So, um, everything everybody says is, is the same thing. He just, he might have worded a little bit different, or might see a little bit different, but it's, it's all the same thing. Yes, sir. Uh, Salute Samurai Kennels in the building. Salute Going Hard Kennels Twins in the building. Salute Mark Twins. Yes, I twins. My brother. Uh, Ram, did you want to touch that? Or you, or did, everybody well, took on it? I'll just add on to it because uh, all the OGs made excellent points. It's better to wait and see, you know, what, how your dog uses his mouth in action than it would be to t teach him to do something because you'd be teaching him wrong, like OG Bach pointed out. If you had uh, one that'll play the face from the nose up to the fucking ears, it's 
real hard to fucking get your whole mouth on a dog like that. He don't like the front of the mouth, so he's going to hate the back of the mouth and do everything he can to keep his shit out the back of your mouth if you got a face and head dog like that. But if you just insist on doing it as a puppy, like Schoolboy mentioned, give him the bone and all that good old shit, and then uh, when he make the bite you, you think you know what you're looking for, praise them. Puppies love praise. They just like bitches. That's why I'm good with the dogs and the ladies. But uh, <laughs> And the dog training we use was called a bite bar. You know, that's pretty good. If You could look one up, you know, and see right. Cause I ain't promoting nobody shit. I ain't getting paid from they shit. So yeah, just look it up. It's called a bite bar. Uh, twin would, would know because he, he he trained dogs too. Like train train them like how I used to for protection work and shit. So I ask him to bring it up on on their next show or something like that if he want to go more in depth. But yeah, I give y'all that much game. But I ain't telling y'all which word to get. You gonna have to go through them like I had to. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you Um. <clears throat> What's that? Uh, Jack 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 Mason appreciate the support. It says uh, Rasta, how did you get Lady Stone in shape? Uh, <clears throat> um, the walk and uh, Jenny. Uh, I I love the Jenny. I don't think there's a man alive can do what a Jenny can. Do. Okay. That's there's nope. not a man alive can do what a Jenny can. Now, there's a lot of people believe it, though. Oh, I can do this. Yeah, but until you master that Jenny, you don't know. You know what? You, you know you 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 exercise, but what that Jenny does is put maximum production on the town. You get maximum production from the hound, but uh, you can overdo it. But you have to, you know, to, you, you, you know, and all the dogs are different, man. I mean, you know, you you got some, man. You can um, you can run them for ten minutes, and man, you you think they're about to die. And uh, then you got some you can run fifteen minutes or twenty minutes, and that son of a bitch want to run all night, and. Uh, <clears throat> And then you get some that uh, that that could do more, but it's everything about um, them having natural air, natural stamina, natural power. It's a whole it's a combination of things that, that goes in, it. and uh, and that's what you create. You create this combination of power from every aspect of condition that you can contort and bring forth. You know, and get that performance, and 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 believe it or not, if you want to know how your dog gonna perform, put him on that Jenny. That Jenny let you know if that motherfucker get on that run for twenty minutes and lay down, he, you know he ain't ready. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put that son up there. He run two hours and he dragging to get to his chain, to get back to the Jenny. God damn it, he read it. <laughs> it ain't hard to figure out if they read it or not. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of, uh, you know, them having the heart. Or some of them can, you know, you can do all that stuff, but if they ain't got the heart, hey. it don't matter what you do. It ain't going uh, yeah. it's, it's to funny. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned that, Rasta Man, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in a, in a video I got coming up, but uh, my buddy of mine used to use this as a measure. He had a he had a treadmill, and instead of having the big uh, rollers, you know, on the ends, the whole thing was made out of roller skate right. uh, wheels, right? And it turned real hard, real mm -hmm. hard to turn. And he had it at a 45-degree angle. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to see how good your dog was in shape, you mm -hmm. throw him on that mill. And you might have done whatever you did, and the dog ran whatever, and jumped around, did all the hoop de doos all that. But if they couldn't do 10 minutes on that meal, they weren't in shape. Mm. It's, it's kind of what you were saying about the cat meal. You could, if yeah. somebody had that, was able to do that, put a dog through a keep the way you do it, and then towards the end of the keep, where they're in pretty good shape, throw mm -hmm. them on a cat meal, see how they run it. Uh -huh. If they can't do it like Rosterman said, they ain't in good shape. 
Hey, hey, hey Cat, you, 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 yeah, cat you meal, good job. true. You Hell know what? Yeah. I can add even to that, Brother Garcia. I've seen some run the shit out of Jenny and can't go five minutes in resistance training. So there you go. You get what I'm saying? There you go. Yeah. You call relative, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, well, what I did to, to combat that, I put a handbrake on my on my meal when I had one, man. And that little yeah. resistance just from the handbrake will fucking annihilate that fucking resistance training because it added it to it. I wouldn't right. let him do it the yeah, whole T time, but like towards the end, I hit that break on his ass and he'd be struggling. But when we got yeah. showtime come around, he's burning it out. Like he's damn near finna burn the break off. And I got it all the way down now and he's still on it. Like, so it's, yeah. you know, just different ways. Cause both of y'all right. Cause I didn't did it both ways. And I had to add resistance when I just will put them on the Jenny. They would have a lot of stamina, but they needed that endurance to go with it. See. But, but, yeah, right. one thing TJ you mentioned that in a in a with in conversation with me, so I added it to my to one of my videos. He swore by that break because you can you can adjust the mill that way, so you don't yeah. need two or three different kind of mill. It's the same mill. You could have it free running. You can yeah. put the brake a little bit. You can put the brake hard. You can yeah. adjust it back and forth day to day like that. So that's a good point, Brown. Yep. Hell yeah. That shit. It did the trick, man. It did the trick. You could take like just a regular bicycle brake and put it on your mill, man. You know, yeah. and weld it up there the handle part, boop, and you could adjust that shit. It's, it's a lot, a lot of ways you could you could trick it out, man. Once you get a good understanding of basic conditioning, you could take it to the next level with the tools you got. Like I eliminated having to have a carpet mill, you know, just from putting tension on the mill I had and with the brake and all of that shit. Same with the the cat mill. Plus, people uh, that goes down faster than the goddamn regular slat. So you have to watch yourself without burning yourself out on the front. Oh, yeah. Floor. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You, you burn your dog down. Yeah. Dog man scratch. Appreciate you coming back in that super chat, man. Salute to you. He says, um, what are some good food combinations for 100% complete raw diet? I'm going to go to you on that round. Uh, different vegetables, man, that you could get a hold of, you know, depending on your climate and what's on sale around your area. So I use kale as opposed to spinach. I mean, Eli had a big ass nerve debate on the versus this and that. And so settled on kale. He turned out to be right. Kale was the best as far as feeding your dog a superfood, adding it to there. Some sweet potatoes, man. It don't take a lot. You know, uh, a good multivitamin, just basic shit like you would do if you was working out. You know, it don't take a whole bunch just for everyday feeding because you're going to get a lot of calcium depending on the chicken you feed. And it might got a lot of fat content on it, which is good for the dogs and they getting protein, but they still need minerals and shit. So just to keep it simple, a little bit of kale, some sweet potatoes, man, you'll see a big difference in your dog without. Over I mean, there's more to it, but. I started telling you motherfuckers the shit and you can go do it and try to do it my way, mixed with Bach way, mixed with what schoolboy and roster man finna say and then be mad because your shit looking crazy. <laughs> Cause we all got different ways of doing this, is my point. But yeah, that's how I would do it, bro. Just something simple. Yes, sir. Uh you we wanna take that, brother Bach, don't you do you you feed raw sometimes, don't you? Yeah, I'm a raw man, but like I said, Ram pretty much gave up the hookups too. And I, I don't mean no harm. A lot of things, Google will tell you. <laughs> like, just on some real shit. You can go up and see what's good for your dog and what's harmful. Because if you don't catch what we say or, or whatever, you can, I'm not saying Google is right for everything, but a lot of things, it's, it's certain things we can eat and that, that like, you know, Certain things like onions or different things for a dog can be toxic. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times, you know, but just the basic, like he said, I like the kale over the spinach myself. Um, but I get spinach, I alternate if I want to do that. You know what I mean? But uh, my raw consists of different chicken livers, gizzards, the hearts, um, regular beef liver, 
ground beef, chicken. Um, I like I like giving sweet potatoes to my shit, broccoli. Um, I put a little yogurt. I, I mean, same good shit you can eat. You can feed to your dogs. But like I said, just look at the list of what dog that's toxic to dogs or what to give little of versus, you know, just feeling like it was good for you and it should be good for them. Find out to fuck your dog up. And like I said, so that that would be my best way, but pretty much what Rams said. Yes, sir. Let me see here. Um, Tyrone Dyson in the super chat with the 10 piece. Appreciate your support. Good brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tyrone. Much love. We, Jack Mason back in that super chat. He says, Bach, how did you uh, get Tyrone in shape? I got his dick sucked and told him we got an easy night. As long as you got there, do what you got to do early. <laughs> <laughs> well, I come back. I want to come back as one of your dogs, preferably a male. Then. <laughs> What's a real preferably shit? Tyrone. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, like I said with Tyrone, he wasn't a dog that really liked to do work. He was... um. And, and and in in the cold weather, he didn't need none. I could really take him off the chain out of the, in the cold weather. In the summer, that's a different motherfucker. But in the winter, he was almost like unbeatable. So I didn't, you know, I, I did a lot of just power conditioning. Like I said, um, I really didn't fuck with the treadmill. I don't like treadmills at all, too much at all. Anyway, I might use the electric mill just so they're on a certain little two two mile, you know, just keep them up there for some time just just far as that but not not treadmills at all um mine is like i said resistant training he did a lot of resistant training uh women um had the long dirt road where he did sprints and weight pulling a lot of weight pulling since my thing was long as tyrone could get to you you're dead so all i did is made sure he was strong enough regardless what you can do you could not prevent him from putting his mouth on you. So that's all I did. It's all basically strength work, a little bit endurance because we didn't have a marathon, motherfucker. And Tyrone, once I was able to see, he was able to go an hour and a half at at a, a, a 12 months old against champion Dirty Red, where they both became four-time winners. I seen him go an hour and a half off the chain and wasn't breathing. The fuck I'm at to worry, worry about. And I wasn't worried about him having no goddamn air problem. So that that was pretty much it. Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Garcia, um, go to you on this question. What are some ways you can help prevent a dog from overheating during a hog hunt? And um, is there a way you can improve the time it takes for the dog to overheat? Yeah, well, that that uh, you know, I explained it in my key, and and uh, it's just a matter of of. Uh, it's 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 more not so much you know how do I prevent them from like something you could do to so they don't run hot or something you can give them so they don't run hot. It's not that. It's how you condition, how you prep them before, how the conditioning goes, and I'll repeat it again. When I work my dogs, in the beginning of the keep, they're gonna do the work. They're gonna come out hard, do the work. Then they're gonna they're gonna have to catch a second win or they're going to blow out a little bit, you know, and I do this on the fly while they're working. Sometimes going to go by where there's two minute, one minute, whatever it is. And they're going to recoup on the fly and, con and keep continuing their work. At the end of the keep, or at the end of the workout, you're going to walk them out to cool them down. That's going to take a certain amount of time. So as you progress through the keep, towards the end of the keep, especially the peak week, that time it takes them to blow out in the beginning of the workout is going to be longer. Let's say it was 15 minutes. Now it's going to take them 30 minutes before they blow out. Same thing at that peak time of the workout. When you first start, it's going to take them a certain time to cool down. At that peak workout, it's going to take them less time to cool down. 
That's how I measure it. And that all comes with what you feed, how you work them, how much rest you give, and and uh, how how much you, how you dry them out or peek them out. Put it that way. That's basically it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'm gonna go uh, move on to another question. Uh, let somebody want to tackle that one. Um, what's a good concoction for growing a dog's hair back when in recovery? Uh, Roster man. Um, it's some stuff. Um, you know, back in the day. You know, when you had a bad wound, if you had to stitch it up, uh, you use a little pine towel, uh, uh, you know, clean it up, make sure it's clean up, you know. You know, with a wound, you have to clean it every day, man, you know. Uh, you, you know, you, uh, you want to make sure you keep the wound clean. Um, and, 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 and another thing that we used to have back in the day was uh, medicated Vaseline. You can't even find that no more. I wonder why, I don't know why they stopped selling that. You know, you could buy that. It came in a little brown bottle. And, uh, you know, and, and you, you got all different types of uh, antibacterial dressing. You find something that you know. But I want to touch back on this dinner thing <clears throat> because the guy asked the question. Yes, sir. Uh, with 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 what all has been said is could be a true fact. But to do anything, you gotta become to understand it and what it does and how it'll be good for you to partner with it to do it for your dog. Because it, it ain't about just throwing the dog up there and letting him run itself down. You know what I mean? It's everything about resistant training. Period. I don't care what you do. Basketball, football players, everybody. Every sport is resistant training. They has to do that to get stronger, to make the muscles hard. And and you want to get the body hard. So with the Jenny, <clears throat> instead of just having a free will and Jenny, you gotta play with the, the weight that you put on the Jenny. You know what I mean? Now, what what I, I like doing is you you can either use a chain or a rope and make sure the weight is dragging the ground. You know what I mean? Where, where the dog has to really pull it. So if, if he get on that thing and he can pull his weight for X amount of time, and he ain't, you know what? I'm, I'm, at some point, I'm going to work the weight up. And, uh, and he get on there and do it consistent. 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour, or whatever. And, you know, you build in hard muscle because he got to use his core to pull. He ain't just pulling with his neck. He's using his core because you're using the harness. And so you feel that core and get that body hard. That was the only thing kept Lady Stone alive. If she hadn't have been on that damn Jenny. And building her core the way she did, the way she got bit, she would have died, man, because her muscle tissue would have been so soft. But her body was so hard, she could withstand the shit. And uh, so it's everything about you becoming as close as you are with your dog, with the Jenny. Because the Jenny, the Jenny can be your enemy or it can be your best friend. And, and I think yeah. sir. No lies, but I just wanted to say he's told you I'm a Jenny fan. I'm I'm like Boone on the Jenny. I'm Jenny for that. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Salute to um, Smooth Monty, the brother in the super chat, showing love. Appreciate the support. He says, What is the smartest thing you've seen an American pit bull terrier do outside of the pit? Um, let me go to you, brother Bach. Well, this is a true story. It just happened not too long ago. Some people might think it's bullshit, but it's somebody that's in here. I won't mention the name that it happened to. Um, let's just put it this way. Uh, a brother, a, a friend of mine was going through some things with him and his son. His son and uh, him had little, little differences. 
and uh, kind of father really hadn't been able to hear from him in a minute. And uh, a dog that wasn't really even close to his son, but close to my boy, this bitch never dug out her pen before. Never dug out it after this happened. She dug out of her fucking pen, went somewhere she'd never been before. She only been outside the yard one time, and it was the opposite, opposite direction the way she came in. She went blocks, found his son at his girlfriend's house, waited out there until he came out. The son couldn't recognize that dog was one of theirs. The dog followed him, kept following him. He kept saying, why does fucking dog keep following me? But it looked familiar, but I don't like his one eyes. So he called to his aunt, said, hey, is my dad missing a dog, a black dog? She said something to the brother. He was looks out the yard, ain't nothing missing, man. Dogs would have been making noise, da, da, da. So it kept him. So the son continued to see the dog following Wouldn't, wouldn't to just follow 10, 10 feet behind and just sit every time he walked and stay and move, you know, stop dog state. So he calls back, say, Hey, you, you need to ask my father to go out and jump check the fucking yard. Cause it, it looked like this dog might be one. Holly <laughs> goes out, checks the yard, see that she missing. He said, man, hell yeah. One of my dogs is like, yeah, it's a little black. Yup. Yeah. And he said, man, bring, you know, come back home. So the dog brought the dog. Dog came back with him. My man and the son's relationship been good ever since. Dog never tried to get out her pen again. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Yes, sir. That, that's what you call spiritual love, my brother. My boom, that's what we talking about. These dogs on a whole nother level playing us. We didn't lose. Hey, the man, man that lost his way keeps seeking other men to tell him what the fuck real true spiritualism is and religions. But when a motherfucker know true spiritualism, ain't no dog ever went to a fucking mosque or church or none of that shit. Okay? Say it again. Say it right. again, America. Say it again, boy. Say it again. That's Damn. right. That's some power there, boy. Listen, man, just imagine that, man. You know. How, how strong that vibe was, bro. And right now, him and his daddy them got close because close. of the, the vibe yep. of the dog. Man. Yep. Man. Yep. That's, yes, that's it. That's my story. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, tell yours. Way, oh, man. you want to tell mine now? <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Why ain't she compared to that? That was deep. My, my smarty shit was uh, I got a dog as a pup when me and this chick was together. We break up, but you know, uh, bitches like dick and I like bitches. And, uh, you know, she will say she want to see the dog, so I'll take the dog over there and shit. But you know, he grown now, so she throw a treat down on him. He just look at him, pee on it. <laughs> Perfect revenge. <laughs> He didn't want her, neither did the dog. <laughs> oh, hey, he felt the vibe, Ram, like we just talked about. See, you see how exactly. proud the vibe is. Hell Damn, yeah. We boned out after that. <laughs> yeah. Now, school, what you went and tell you. School, yeah, smartest okay. thing you ever seen uh, a dog do. Outside of okay, the you know. Yeah, some dogs, you know, they knock on the door, or they can open a door, but uh, Big Red did this one time. We taking him to the vet and we always, you know, always have our kids with us. And the vet was, uh, right beside a, a main road that had a lot of traffic going through it. So we had the kids out there, you know, and, uh, big red, you could have him off leash most of the time. You know, he was good that way. So we're getting all the stuff ready to go into the vet. My daughter gets away from us and starts walking out to the road. We did for some reason we didn't notice it. You know they didn't never do that. They always stay by us and all that. We're like, like George Lopez. You know, stay right here where I can see you. You know, like that. So yeah. she starts walking out to the road. We didn't see her. Big Red saw her, so he goes over there, grabs her by the diaper, and pulls her back to us because he could tell. You know, she get she might get hit by a car. You know, mm -hmm. and it just flabbergasted, man. Like you know, we loved on him and all that. Good boy. So. That's why I trust my dogs with my kids because they would watch them, you know. 
but that's about but, the smartest thing I've seen a dog, one of my dogs do anyways. That's the power of spiritual love, brother. The love that y'all gave him, he gave to your baby, man. And yes, that's sir. what dogs do. When you give them love, they'll give it to the family because they know that when the baby's wasn't born and a new baby come in the house, they know that's one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. Yeah. 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 Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah. Well, I got a, um, uh, I got plenty of stories about smart dogs, like, you know, opening doors and uh, unlocking their kennels and all that kind of stuff. But this is not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to alter it a little bit because I didn't actually see this. This is something that a female told me about her dog. <clears throat> she said that when she was younger, she had uh, her dad had bought her an American Pit Bull Terrier, and um, her mom couldn't stand the dog, but her mom let her keep it because you know the dad got it for for her birthday, all that kind of stuff. But she said that um, um, a few months into getting the dog, the dog was already about six, seven months old, but a few months into getting the dog. She said the dog should sleep on her floor in her, her room. A few months into getting it, um, they had a relative, a male relative, come stay at the house. So you already know where this is going. Uh, he was a creep. So he was creeping in the room at, at night time. And um, the girl was too afraid to tell her parents, but the dog dealt with his ass, attacked his ass in the room and shit. You know what I'm saying? Faded his motherfucking ass. <laughs> that was one of the best stories I ever heard. Dog faded him. And the dog just knew he was a fucking creep. He knew he had no business up in that room. You know what I'm saying? So, that's right. Yeah. So that's, a good, that's a good dog. That's a good dog. Yep. Got his ass. I hope he bit his fucking dick off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know another one like that. I can tell you another one. It wasn't my dog, but it was a, the mother to uh, Grand Champion Badger, Champion Fox, Taylor, Lumpy, all them. Williams, Miha. And a kid had her before uh, uh, before Terry got her. And she was a house dog. They had her inside. Uh, uh, what turned out to be a relative of theirs broke in to the house, into the room where the kids were. And the bitch heard it, of course, ran over there, grabbed him by his chest. Didn't, didn't hurt him that much, but, you know, he was so scared because the dog was on him. And held him there with her mouth on his chest until the cops come. And mm -hmm. just just kept him there, you know. So same kind of same type of story, you know. Yep. Hell yeah! I encourage pit bulls, man, biting weirdos. Hey, yeah, the yeah. Power of spiritual love is the greatest power man could possess. And I don't know why we so busy want to kill our buddies and our friends, our kids. We just we got we twisted, man. We so fucked up. It, it is fucked up, man. You know, we're supposed to be loving one another, protecting one another. And that's why these bulldogs, we don't have to teach them certain shit. They know how to do that shit automatically because it's spiritual, yeah. which is the greatest power. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And, you right, um, yeah. One, one of my, my buddies with uh, JP, uh, you know, coming up, and uh, he had company come over or whatever. And uh, he he would tell JP he said go go home and, and close the door, and uh, he get up and go close the bedroom door. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's that simple, man. You know that you know what I'm saying. Hey, these dogs, man, they can't even speak what we call English, but the love that they give, man, is way beyond man could ever understand. Because we be tearing up our own people, ourselves, our families, our, our, our way of living, our way of life. We just tear fuck up everything. Just fuck up everything. And then want to say, yeah, you my brother. Man, we can't be saying that shit and then we're doing all this wicked stuff. We got to clean this shit up and let the people know how, you know, being good to one another just to make it better for our children. So they can have a better world, you know, for our grandchildren, you know, you know, and then right, for, our yeah. elderly, for our elderly, you know, young boy want to try to take advantage of an old man. That's a bitch, faggot ass motherfucker. You understand? Brandon Max said, we ain't right. gonna say fucker, but the motherfucker is a motherfucker. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. He's a no motherfucking good motherfucker. 
You understand me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got to respect our elders, man. Whether you think he right or wrong. You know what I mean? But, you know, you ain't got to try to abuse nobody. You know, it's just like the dogs. The dogs respect everything. Don't try to abuse nobody. You know, animals, look at the horses, the donkeys. Donkeys out there protecting the livestock. But if you go over there with that trouble, that donkey going to kick the cowboy shit out your ass. <laughs> Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. it's natural, man. You know, we we born to protect our women, our children, people we don't know, people we do know. But we ain't born to be acting a damn fool, taking advantage of people. And then we over here saying this about this person, saying that about this person. Man, I'm man, I would feel a damn shame if my mouth stayed full of talking about some goddamn body else. All fucking morning and all day, man. Where the fuck these niggas come from, man? Right. What, you know what? We need to give them a goddamn McDonald's job so the motherfucker work all day long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Keep it a hundred, brother. One, keep it one hundred. Keep yes, it. Good boy, action, boy. Tell them, school. <laughs> keep it a hundred. <laughs> the cold okay, part about okay. keeping it a hundred is keeping it a hundred is free. It don't cost you nothing to keep it motherfucking Not real. Damn thing. That shit is real there, bro. Like and it's easy to do. Real right. easy, like the Humpty Dance. It's real wow. easy to do. Check it out. It's like that. <laughs> Shout out to my brother. Shout out to live life real. You know, live life. Real. Live life in the chat to my I'll be the old man up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, <laughs> but that's the difference between the old nigga and the OG. You respect the OGs. You can punch on the old niggas because they was getting punched when they was young niggas. If they, if they fucking evolved to OGs by now, they still deserve the same treatment they got when they was young. But OGs not only command, but deserve that respect, bro. And it's up to us to uh, show the next generation the difference between the two. Because I'll punch an old man down, too. But I fucking wouldn't even cuss around the OG if he didn't like motherfuckers cussing around them. I give him that much respect. You feel me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. We got um another... This is an interesting question here. I don't know if y'all want to take it. It's kind of controversial. Uh but the people, this is the second week in a row somebody asked this question, so I figure I ain't going to keep ducking it. He says, uh, what was the purpose for Garner lying about the uh, way Dynamite was, was bred, if he lied about it? Uh, dog sales. Motherfucker, he known for Frisco dogs. He can have a goddamn red, red nose, old family red nose dog over there, but... Motherfuckers want Frisco dogs. Guess what? This is a goddamn quadruple bred inbred Frisco dog. That's why it's red, red nose. It reached all the way back in the pedigree. The motherfuckers is okay with it because motherfuckers want the prestige of the dog instead of the correctness of the dog. So it is what it is. I personally say that's a goddamn red boy dog only because I had dogs down from when he brought out that uh, Cottingham shit in a. Uh, that shit fucking look and fault just like that shit, bro. Ooh. But okay, that's okay. just me going off what I've seen. You know, I can't always believe my old lion eyes, I guess. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> What's your, What's your that, take that ain't nothing new. Motherfuckers been doing that. Like, Carver was the best at it. Motherfuckers are still getting a good dog no matter what the paper say. And that would be my speculation on his logic, but go ahead, bro. I was gonna say, yeah, I heard. Uh, I know a few people who had some dynamite stuff, and uh, they liked it. You know what I'm saying, so if he did lie about the pedigree, uh, I don't know. If, I don't think it backfired on him. But what 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 do you say to that, Mr. Garcia? Uh, I don't. I don't know. You know the story behind that. I don't know Garner dogs or anything. But I'll say this for people that are buying dogs, especially from somebody who sells a lot of dogs, not him. I'll talk about people in other countries. Let's put it that way. If you tell them I want a pure this or a pure that, they're going to give it to you. And they ain't pure. Like like Ram said, you could tell a lot by looking at them if you're familiar with bloodlines of dogs. 
So now I know a lot of them old heads that uh, they will sell you whatever you want. And most people want a pure whatever. So that's what they sell you. That's what the papers say, but that, that ain't what the dog is. And like Ram said again, to repeat, it's been doing that. Not just Carver, a lot of people, you know. Which in today's times, that's why we say, you know, pay attention to the dog, not the pedigree. If it's been happening so often, and if all the dogs go back to the same dogs, then you should be more concerned about what the dog is, what his parents were and grandparents were, what traits they have, what they can do, how they act, what their behavior's like, all that. And then you can build from that because no matter what, how a dog is bred on the pedigree, if it's a good dog and it's able to produce, you're going to use it. That should be standard. Because as you build forward, if you're honest, you know what you're producing from that dog and his offspring and progeny and all that. So what's behind him really don't matter at, at a certain point. You know, once you go forward, that don't matter what he is. There's fake shit in my pets. There's curs behind my dogs. I don't care about that. I never did because I know what I was doing moving forward. And that's what mattered to me. So, you know, people who think people who think they get in pure this and pure that and they post a pet, look, it's pure this and pure that, pure, 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 hundred percent pure shit, still shit. Right. So in that respect, it don't it don't matter. Get a good dog from somebody reputable. Or maybe you lucky and get a good dog and roll with that, you know. Right. <clears throat> What's your thoughts on the brother bot? Well, you know, I'm always going to tell you, man, you know, people kill me from the beginning. It's, everybody's a fucking paid person. I mean, I'm just that this this new generation of motherfuckers, you know, they I don't give a fuck man, like what I got to say, because I've never looked for approvals and look for new friends. No way. Got a lot of friends, a hell of a lot of friends. They love me because I'm going to keep it 100. People are so fuck it. Like schoolboy said, if you love the dynamite shit. Well, it matter if the bitch came out the pound? If the bitch can produce you fucking the dogs that you desire, does it really matter? Again, ain't nobody in nobody backyard. People kill me with the think they deserve to get a real pet. Like, well, I ain't in the paper hanging. Who gives a fuck? Your paper <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you ain't in the paper hanging. They being hung and people really believe that they really want to believe that these motherfuckers is real because the bitch told you they are. They ain't real. Ain't no papers real because none of us was in 1800, late 1800s, 1900s, to be able to know what those papers behind the other papers, the only papers that should matter to you is the motherfuckers. The, I mean, the only thing that should matter to you is the dogs you have. The dogs that you are performing like you like, and, and then they, they produce the dogs of the same traits that you like. That's it. Well, I, I, somebody said it was off of Otis's dickhead Larry, but I found out it was off of Susie's Willie Willie. Who gives a fuck, man? God damn, some bitch ass motherfuckers. And I'm serious, like, and motherfuckers really be pissed about it. I don't want nobody reading my papers, but you got the dog you want. It's like, a, it's like, it's like me at a motherfucking black tie event. And I meet a fine ass woman and she dressed beautiful. And me and her get to them for six months and then I say, you know what, I'm gonna take her exclusive. No, she's a she's a beautiful, intelligent woman, right? Then somebody tells me, well, you know, 10 years ago, we used to fuck her, she was a crackhead. So that means because that so you mean I'm gonna stop loving it and being wanting to be with her because of something that somebody later told me she she wasn't with I may have thought she was, but I'm satisfied with the motherfucker I got now. I could give 10 fucks how many dicks she sucked 10 years ago. It didn't matter about my perception versus the reality, even. She's just a better dick sucker, right, Bob? She's just a better dick sucker. And I appreciate the sucking the dicks back then because that's why I'm in love with it because she's a professional dick sucker now. <laughs> you understand? Know I'm be tripping on She's got her 10,000 hours in. <laughs> Fine, bro. I'm telling you, I don't be wanting to hear that bullshit about papers, bro. I have not seen a paper scratch one fucking inch, not one of them. 
But I didn't see motherfucking dogs come with no papers that you can't stop the motherfuckers and goddamn they throw the same. So now I'm a city like I really want to breed this motherfucker, but I ain't got I'm really how you bread. And then he accidentally makes a breed and then throws out grand champion dighead slim. And you like maybe this is fake. Then he throw another bama, and you're like, well, I really don't want to put use him as a foundation. He, he is the best fucking dog you got. You got 50 dogs here with per, pretty paid. He produced one winner. This motherfucker who you got off the side of the highway threw you two champions and grand champions, and you still in your fucking head because there's no papers. You battling yourself. I really don't. I don't know what. See, this, this, see, don't ask me no more questions. Don't come to me. Miss me with all the fucking pet joints because people are be mad at me and I don't give a fuck. Next question. <laughs> uh, you want a good dog or not, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let, me say, let me say one last thing. The, the reason if, if people think that we bitching and whining about this and we harping on shit and Bach will back me up on this is because we get a lot of heads thrown at us. And what you think about this, what you think about that, we don't know. We don't know. So we keep giving the same information. If it's a good dog, good trade, can right. produce, that's all that matters, right? And they still, but I want pure this, and I want that, and I want a dog bred like this. I can't help you. I don't know the current dogs. But to, for me to give an opinion on your dog's pet or something like that, I can't do it. But what I can say that is standard throughout the history of the breed, if it's a good dog, that's all that matters. And and another reason is because that's all we're getting. We're not getting no traits of the dog. They're not telling us what they can do or what they did or what their daddy or mama did or any of that stuff. So we can't tell you about the pit. And, and that's what's flipped around before, like we said before, the dogs used to matter more, not the ped. Now the ped matters more, not the dog. That's totally flipped around. So if it sounds like we're harping <laughs> on this shit and we get upset about it, that's why. I, let me just say this. Excuse me. I'm I'm not upset at all. I'm just passionate about what I'm I can give two fucks if a motherfucker right. damn care about my statement. Whether they agree with me or not is irrelevant. My thing is this. Seriously, bro. What we, what we live in today is what you call the, 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 the hookup of attention seekers and approval wanting. Okay? So everybody shows their pads around like that's a, you know, like you got you in a new fucking Mercedes. Like, look at that. Yeah, what you think about that? And the motherfucker tells you, oh, that's that's man, man, that's a beautiful pad. I mean, really? That dog might not even exist, but the pad is beautiful. Okay? And, and, and then they pass it around. What you think about that? Oh, that's man, that's mood. That's 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 fire. What's fire about it? Did the dog are we talking about the dog or we talking about the pet? You understand what I'm saying? And like you said back in the day, who the fuck was showing their pets? Name me one person you know. Hey, Boone, I've been knowing you for years. Have we ever showed pets to one another? <laughs> Have we ever even asked each other how the fuck the dog was bred? I don't I, I mean, seriously, uh, uh, Garcia, you didn't ask me when I flew in the motherfucking California in 1990. Well, how was the dog bred? And I asked the Tito, hey, Tito, how's your dog bred? I gave two fuck size dogs bread. I just wanted to beat that motherfucker. He just fucked dog. I didn't give a fuck. I was dog. If it was the little mate brother of my shit, it didn't matter. But today, Motherfuckers is so caught up in the reds and the blues and the greens and all that shit on pets online and looking at pedigrees and they showing I get y'all don't understand. I, like Richard said, I get at least twenty to thirty pets sent to me every fucking hour on hour. How you think about these pets, Bob? And you know what I tell them? If you like it, I love it. Talk to you later. I'm in a meeting. That's my favorite shit. The fuck I want to sit here and talk about that bullshit ass pet you showing me, man. Show me a picture of the dog, and I'd rather talk about that rather than the fucking game as motherfucking the world or occur. I could at least see the dog just by my eyesight. It's a nice-looking dog. You want to send me a pet and hear me say, that's a nice pet. For what? What the fuck does that pet mean to me? Nothing. But that's what we do. That. But it's cool if you just want to show it, but don't sit here and feel like a motherfucker supposed to fucking praise the pedigree. And I tell people, the pet doesn't mean as much as the dog. Let's get back to talking about the dogs because that's actually who the fuck you feeding. 
You understand? So that's all. I'm sorry, but this shit is. I tell you, you know, I talked to Bach Reed. Yeah. See, Bach don't talk to everybody. But see, he'll talk to me. You know, see, I show Bach the pen. Bach said, pen nice. <laughs> 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 but what I'm going to say, boo? What I'm going to say? <laughs> hey, 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 I'm in the elite club now. You know, I want to box boys. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, you know, hey. I got motherfuckers to stop doing that shit to me. I start pointing out all the curves in they shit. <laughs> like, oh yeah, this curve right here in the second. The letter made to the mama was a curve. Motherfuckers to stop that shit. I don't give a fuck how lit up the motherfucker is. I'll show you all the curves in that shit. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, stop I asking know. me. Hey, look, I do want to make a, a comment on uh, about them uh, specifically asking about Tom. Right. Uh, I, I just want to say this. Uh, Met that brother many years ago, many years ago, many years. Ago. And uh, to see him to go from where he was then to where he is now. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know, right. people right. taking. Right. Yeah, can you hear me now? If for yeah, some right. reason. People People getting the categories or or whatever, and then they figure they find it fault, or they figure they they see fault or think it's fault. All they got to do is go to the brother and ask him. You know what I mean? Now, I don't know. Um, I know this. He raised a lot of Chinaman dogs, and he has some dogs off Boom, and I'm sure he probably got <clears throat> other stuff, other type of dogs. You know what I mean? Who knows what all Tom got? Because he can do that. He can go get, he can buy any damn thing he wants to. And if you go to the man to buy a dog and he give you the paperwork and you say you like it, well, then that's it, man. You know, what is it to fuss about? Because you got the dog that you wanted or the dog you were seeking. If um, you feel like um, it was something that you didn't like, then just don't go back. But don't go and try to slander the man's name and, and all that stuff. I mean, you know, I ain't taking no sides, but I'm just saying, you know, and the man worked hard to build his business. You know, he's an entrepreneur. And, um, you know, the, I, I don't see no, you know, no wrong in being an entrepreneur. But, you know, everybody had their own way and their own style. You know, ain't no two men alike. You know what I mean? So if you don't like his style, hey, stay away from it. But if you like his style, hey, keep dealing with it. But, you know, but to go bad mouth and all that. And see, that's another thing. We as men got to stop acting like women. Man. We got to cut that shit out. We got to cut that shit out, my brother. I mean, we got to cut this shit out. Niggas over here gossiping about other niggas. That's it. That's it. You know, they had the truck. They had a truck. Yep. And the truck came over here, man. I seen it. Yeah. Yeah. But it was the homeboy that told me about it. I didn't really see the truck, but the homeboy told me about it. And the homeboy said the truck was there. And I'm telling you, the truck was there. God damn, shut the fuck up. You'd be saying shit you shouldn't say. You're talking about shit you shouldn't be talking about. You know what I mean? I mean, I, you know, coming up, man, we knew to keep our damn mouth shut. You know what I mean? You don't be talking about, you, you don't talk about certain things just ain't even worth talking about. You know, it's everything about love and understanding and respect. Whether you like a man or how he do his thing, whatever or not. You still got to respect him. You see what I'm saying? Because you want to be respected too. So, you know, if you don't like the way people doing things, hey, man, go on about your business, man. Go, ain't nobody going to be mad because you don't deal with the motherfucker. You no, know, I think Tom doing a good job down there. Shit, goddamn. He, he driving the motherfucking G Wagon. <laughs> hey, I don't knock it. You know what I mean? Man doing this thing. But uh, that, that, that's it, bro. <laughs> but one thing quickly on the same the time thing because the question like you said it comes up here 
And we not getting ready to come on this show and down talking no dog people. That's what's ain't gonna happen, man. That's it's not, no okay. here. we not gonna do that. Not here. We we not okay. come here talking about time and whether I deal with Tom or not, like Boone said, he's probably the number one dog breeder in the history of pit bulls. I mean, I don't even know anybody in the close to him. No one's close. Uh, the man has a second to none breeding program. If people truly was concerned about whether the dog pairs are right or wrong or, or why he started his registry, what happened to ADBA, where they stopped registering, or whatever, whatever the stories, we heard them all. Tom was out here putting a lot of bullshit out here. How could he be the top motherfucker dog breeder of all times? Constantly having people spend their money, what they work hard for, and they're satisfied mostly from what I hear people who got the dogs are satisfied. I think at the end of the day, whoever spends their money in anybody's yard is nobody else's business. I don't even know why anybody can get complained and be like, well, why are you spending your money? Why are you worried about where that mother spending money at? If the man goes spend his money at your yard, that's the most happiest you will be. But as soon as the motherfucker goes spend it somewhere else or somebody's supposed to be successful at it, now you got a million stories that you didn't heard another motherfucker say and you don't even know because you didn't even, don't even know the person personally. You can buy a story of a story of a story of a motherfucker to say it where the shit I got was a cur. Well, goddamn, you're going to get a cur out of every fucking bloodline we go. And all of us got cubs. All of us. So you not, you, every one of the ones you get aren't going to be right, whether it come from Tom, no anybody. Matter. It's not gonna matter. You're going and you if you get if you have dogs, you and you buy dogs outside the your yard, it's it's gonna be a ninety-five percent chance if you buying a good amount of them that you're gonna run into a cur here and there. But that doesn't mean you talk about a motherfucker's whole program because you got the one that was a cur, but your buddy got a damn good one. You know what I'm saying? It's just you just happen to get one that wasn't bad. But like I said, we're not getting ready to so for any pre any more. <laughs> Futuristic questions about times, pairs, or any of that. We like Boom said. Uh, Tom Garner's there. He's he got a website. You can call him. He'll be at his pig picking. You're welcome to go talk to him, and he'll explain all to you there. But we are not, and I'm not saying nobody tried to put that as a hot question to us to say nothing. Fuck. But again, we are not going to be on this program talking badly about no dog man. All right, none, no dog man. Even right. motherfuckers we know that don't make sense. We ain't gonna talk bad about them. We gonna right. let them keep not making sense, and at some point they'll figure it out. Right, right. Yes, sir. Or die off. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think. Um, I think to go back to what y'all talking about. I think a lot of people nowadays they fascinated with ped pedigrees and stuff because the traditional way. Uh, of looking at a dog, most people uh, ain't got the nuts to do it anyway. They want to want you to believe that they do, but they really ain't got the nuts to go out there and do that. So if they got it in the, on paper, it makes them feel like they're a part of y'all, like they're a part of what you guys had done because they got a piece of that history in, in their little cabinet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look what I got. Look what I got. You know what I'm saying? But they, they never put the work in. And see, I'm going to tell you something. This is the same thing I tell brothers. Everybody said they want a good woman. Let's go back to Bach Point. Everybody said they want a good woman. So let's say you was given an opportunity. You had a girl who she was loyal to you, faithful. She can cook her ass off. She sucked dick like nobody's business, right? right. She fucking uh, she a great mother. She a rider. She 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 can fucking take nothing and make something out of it, right? She got value. Most dudes nowadays. Claim that that's what they want, but they'll bypass that for a girl who looked pretty on the outside. She got oh, she looked like she looked gorgeous on the outside. She a dime piece, but she a piece of shit. And that's how I look at it with papers. Papers are got are, roaches in her house and shit. Yeah, right. he's pussy stank, he's pussy stank and shit. You know what I'm saying? But like it's like you papers are good are a good um way to a good foundation thing. But I, I'm looking at it like this: if I see a dude, <clears throat> hypothetically, if I see a dog. And I've seen this dog go. And I know this dude don't got no papers on this dog. But I like this dog. He crushing everything. And he offered me a pup. I'm taking that motherfucker. I'm not going to spend my money on uh, a grand champion, great grand champion, double grand champion that I ain't never seen go. 
but it's gonna give me bragging rights. It's gonna give me some shit to show people. Like, Look at this here. Yeah, this double grand champion right here. Yeah, I got this and this and that. Then you find out you yeah, this motherfucker wouldn't bite a piece of toilet paper in. <laughs> right. It's like, bro, like who cares? Like you people gotta get comfortable with loving themselves and loving what the fuck they got. You know what I'm saying? If you if you got you a woman that's good to you. And she good to your kids. Fuck what your friends or anybody else got to think about it. If you got you a good ass dog and you like this fucking dog, fuck with him. Who cares about the pedigree? Oh, you know I bet motherfucker wouldn't. Cause I say if I say it right now, man, I got this son of old dog. First motherfucker sitting in the ship could have him. You don't get no papers though. You wouldn't give a fuck if I bred old dog to a poodle. Cause you getting a dog from Ram. That's he made it to be that old, and Ram still got him. He's a fucking <laughs> good dog. You feel me? That's you wouldn't give a fuck how he was bred. That's right. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think that's what it is. I think a lot of people nowadays just want to be a part of the history. They want bragging rights, and they want to see all them <clears throat> champions and grand champions in a uh, pedigree, but. They ain't finna do nothing anyway. So I don't hey, I'm gonna tell y'all some dead ass truth, not to cut you off, good brother. But I had dogs like that, proud to have their pedigree. Them motherfuckers don't live up to it. That shit sucks, bro. That's like if a motherfucker run up on you in the shower and <laughs> kick you in the balls with some Tim's on. That's how that <laughs> shit feel, bro. That pretty ass pedigree ain't shit, bro. You be proud of that motherfucker. Hell yeah, you just showed everybody from the time you got him as a pup till you showed up on show night with him. And that motherfucker ain't live up to one dog in the pedigree except the curves that you didn't know about that was in that motherfucker. That bro, shit suck, bro. So fuck that it's, pedigree, man. Pay attention it's, it's to the dog. Value. It's resale value, Ram. It's like people looking at it like, okay, <clears throat> look at this pedigree. I can resell this pedigree, right? They think they already think that everybody talks shit about everybody talks shit about peddlers, but everybody low key want to be a peddler. See what I'm saying? Motherfuckers that be on here with dogs, don't nobody say shit about them until they come out with a litter. As soon as they got a litter, here come all the hate. Hell everybody, yeah. everybody competing to sell their fucking dogs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my pedigree's better. My pedigree's there. Ain't no one motherfucker gonna say my dog better than his dog. When the last time you heard that shit? Never. 1990, never. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that but was anyway. right. It's, that's that's yeah. just a, like you said. You you said it right. I think what it is is the reef the reef selling program. I mean, part of it. Like, if I if I get people to like what it's supposedly come off of, then it the, it has a resale value if a person cares to sell some of it. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I mean? That, that they'll have at least an audience out there that's this you know loves what it's supposed to be off of. You get what I mean? So that might have you said a lot to do with it, but. But for those who are actually coyote hunters and wild boar hunters, the first thing that they're going to ask a real dog man is not going to ask how the dog bred. I don't well, give a fuck. I'm going to say what the parents do. <laughs> they going to say, well, even that, how's that motherfucking ram? Is that a nice ass dog? Man, it's real good around the family. Blah, blah, blah. It's good with children. Oh, okay, bet. Okay, I can bring it home. Because you said it. It's huh. and like you, it came. I can take that motherfucker from anybody who I find to be. A, 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 a dog man, a woman, and they say that dog, they got a good dog. But only thing me, I'm a trait guy, so I don't care about the, the pedigree. What is the trait on the dog? What are your traits on it? If, this, if it's the traits of the traits I like, I'm in love uh, with it. That's and you don't got to ask no crazy question when you say the trait because the motherfucker, oh, he'll finish his plate. That's all you that's need right. to know. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. Give me the traits. You put a plate down, he's gonna need everything on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, uh welcome down around. Why don't you give us a quick disclaimer, brother? <laughs> As always, man, you motherfuckers already know none of this shit is intended for, nor should you niggas be out there using it towards any illegal purposes or activities. You already know if you is doing that shit to keep it to yourself, keep a nigga name out your mouth. Because when the people come and they will come, they come get me. Once the sentencing shit is over, I'm stabbing you to the floor with a big old scary prison knife. Like I make some terrible prison knives. 
I started to make one another day just to walk around on the streets with. But I was like, hell no, we, I'm going right to jail, motherfucker. See this on the street? Like, you nigga shouldn't even have this. This is damn near an article of war. I'm going to stab you with one of them, though. But if you is keeping it trill, you a trill motherfucker, man. Scratch hard than a bitch tomorrow in the Monday. Hit that bitch in the toe. Try to get it out there early, man. Learn some new words. Be great, man. Love yourself. Love your dogs. Fuck bitches get money. That's all I got for you niggas. Oh, and today, for real, for real, I'm free to go live because I ain't got the kids from nothing. So as soon as we get off this shit, we going up live on Instagram, IG, Game Dog Talk. Uh, if you sent the request on there, man, and your shit private, I'll fucking request you back. We just had to stalemate because if you don't fucking uh, approve my shit and I can't see who you is, I ain't showing you mine. You feel me? Mm. Fan or no fan, that shit got to be approved, bro. Yes, but sir. Much love to the to Hello, our everyone. awesome panel. I mean, uh, to the awesome panel and the awesome chat room. Like I said, you know, some people going to agree with some of them. Some going to disagree. But at the end of the day, you know, hey, everybody got their own opinion. Just respect it and keep it moving. That's a fact. Hello, everyone. School Baby here. I'm super excited to share our newest installment of Dogman History. Dogs, Dogman, and Bloodlines. We've just done a full restock, and we can't wait to share everything from our home to yours. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for joining uh, us this week. We'll catch y'all on the Patreon this Thursday. So make sure y'all go check it out. The link to the Patreon is pinned in the chat at the top. If you ain't over there, go check it out, man. Thank y'all for joining us. Salute to the panel. We'll catch y'all next week. Later on this week. Peace. Peace.